vinegar, yeah. wild cherry pistachio, blueberry, raspberry and pink peppercorn, coffee and blossom honey, blackberry and apple brandy, apricot and almond, lavender and vanilla, kiras, it's black currant and real champagne, lemon verbena and lime, my own candy limes, and we've got elderflower and lemon and rose. Don't overcook fish because when you overcook fish it tends to, the protein tends to go and all the juices come out, and that means all the flavours come out. Sweets either very good if it's cooked very quickly, or it's cooked very slowly and for a long time. Right. There is another way of doing that sweet, which is water, uh, vinegar, and put some lemon in there, olive oil, and sugar and salt. Okay, rapid water, spool as sweet as you did, as we've just done there. You drop that into that hot liquid and you let it go for about 10 minutes on a, on a, measure, uh, sorry, on a simmer, very, very gentle. It then comes out, leave it in the liquor for another three or four minutes and then take it and let it cool down naturally. It will tenderize the squid like you never know. And it will eat like butter. Not that you eat butter like that. But. So, the fish is too wet, when you put it in the oil, the water will um, be pushed out from the fish and you end up boiling the fish. And this is a big problem that a lot of people have. Uh, they don't understand that. You need to, we always dry our fish in a cloth before we actually pan fry it or roast it. Yeah? We're very lucky that we have people phoning us up to see if we want to buy their products. And these got these these products here come down from Scotland yesterday, and uh, they're absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're like an oyster; they can live out in the water for a few days. They pack them in uh, polystyrene with uh, seaweed and all the natural yeah. things they have around them. They get packed down, they get sent down overnight, and they arrive with us. Lime juice cures the the uh, storm mass; it releases uh, liquid. So if you put a little bit of olive oil on the uh, dish before you serve it, it's, it coats the fish, it stops it from. I'm releasing any more liquid, which is... <laughs> oh, wow! Mm. No, it's really that nice and hot. <laughs> so if you have sore throat, you have cold, so you take milk, add uh, turmeric to it, boil it, cook it for 5 uh, to 10 minutes, and drink it. Fantastic remedy. In the old days when we had to have our own sort of, sort of animals ourselves, and everything would be eaten, wouldn't be nose to tail eating, everything would be used. Uh, everything that we get, I know pretty much who's grown it, who's caught it, who's reared it. I'm just going to score the fat on the outside. So it's when I do seal it off, the temperature penetrates and we start rendering some of the fat out. The fat, of course, is the flavour. Uh, right, one thing, when you clean your scallops, never leave them in water. A scallop is like a sponge. If you leave that in water, soak it in water, it will just absorb all the water. Uh, it's great size, fine, it's bigger, but it will, when you try to cook it, all the water will be kicked out of it and you'll just be boiling it, and that's a big, big problem, yeah? I cooked two days ago in Selfridges, and people tasted it, just shit. <laughs>